Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how can we insert data into MySQL table through bootstrap modal by using PHP script with Ajax query without page refresh. In previous video tutorial on bootstrap modal we have showed dynamic data from database to bootstrap modal by using PHP with Ajax query. Bootstrap modal is a pop-up or dialog box that appeared on top of the web page. Bootstrap modal is used from displaying dynamic data from database to pop dialog box. In bootstrap modal we can also create form also, so we can also use bootstrap modal for inserting or updating of database data also. By using this plugin we can insert or fetch data without open new page but we can do on page without opening of new web page. This is my testing database and in this we have one employee table with six column like it, name, address, gender, designation and age. In this we have store employee data into this table. We will insert new employee data through bootstrap modal by using PHP with Ajax query. This is my index.php page. Under this page we have already fetch employee data from employee table and display that data under HTML table format with two column like employee name and one view button. When we have click on view button we can show employee data in bootstrap modal. This all things we have already discussed on my previous video of PHP Ajax display dynamic MySQL data and bootstrap modal. Now in this video we want to insert data through bootstrap modal by using PHP with Ajax query. So for this first we have to make simple bootstrap modal with HTML form for inserting employee data. So for this first we have write division tag with attributed is equal to add data modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog. This class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap modal. So for this we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title, we have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with text insert employee details. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body and it attribute is equal to employee detail. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal. Under this body of the modal we have first define HTML form. So we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and it is equal to insert form. We will use this form in and query code. Under this form, first we want to create text box for enter employee name. So we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to name, it is equal to name. After this we want to create text area field for entering employee address. So we have write text area with attribute name is equal to address it is equal to address. We will enter employee address into this text area field. Then after we have create select option for selecting gender like male and female. So we have write select tag with attribute name is equal gender it is equal to gender with two option tag for male and female. We can select employee gender from this select tag. After this we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to designation, it is equal to designation. We can insert employee designation details from this text box. Then after we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to age, 
it is equal to age, we will insert employee age details into this text box. Then after we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to age, it is equal to age, we will insert employee age details into this text box. Lastly in HTML modal code we have defined division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer and in this division we have defined one button type is equal to button class is equal to button and button default bootstrap class and data dismiss is equal to model. Here modal footer class is used to define the style for the footer of the modal and by using this button we can close bootstrap modal. Now we have create on insert button. When we have click on this button then at time this bootstrap modal has pop up, so for this here we have write button tag with attribute name is equal to add it is equal to add data toggle is equal to model and data target is equal to hashtag add data model. This our add button when we have click on this button bootstrap modal will be appeared on web page. Here data toggle is equal to modal opens the modal window and data target is equal to add data model will point to the id of model. Friends you can see when we have click on this add button then bootstrap modal has been pop on web page with insert employee details form. In this form all fields are required, so we have moved to query code for first validate all this form fields. In query code we have write dollar with selector insert form on method and under this method we have write submit event with one event function. When form data has been submitted then this code will be execute. Here insert form is an id of html form. Here first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will prevent from form submission with data. After this we have write if statement with condition like dollar name dot value method is equal to blank, by using value method we will get the value of name text box and this condition will check if name text box value is equal to blank then it will execute if block of code and under this it will produce alert message like name is required. After this we have write else if statement with condition like dollar address dot value method is equal to blank, by using value method we will get the value of address text box and this condition will check if address text box value is equal to blank then it will execute if block of code and under this it will produce alert message like address is required. After this we have write else if statement with condition like dollar designation dot value method is equal to blank, by using value method we will get the value of designation text box and this condition will check if designation text box value is equal to blank then it will execute if block of code and under this it will produce alert message like designation is required. After this we have write else if statement with condition like dollar age dot value method is equal to blank, by using value method we will get the value of age text box and this condition will check if age text box value is equal to blank then it will execute if block of code and under this it will produce alert message like age is required. If all field has some value then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write ajax method and under this method we have write first option url set to insert.php, we will send request it to this page. After this we have write method set to post, here form data will send to server by using post method. Then after we have write data set to dollar insert form dot serialize method, here serialize method will create the text string of all form element with their value and we have store into this data, this data will be sent to server. This way we have send form data by using serialize method. After this we have write success callback function, when request has been succeeds then this function has been called and this function receive data from server in HTML form. So now we want to show that data under division tag with it equal to employee table. So here we have write dollar with employee table dot HTML method with data argument. 
This code will store data which it has been received from server has been shown under employee table division tag in which we have display employee data with column like employee name and view button. After this we want to clear bootstrap modal form, so here we have write dollar form and insert form with index 0 dot reset method, by using reset method form fields has been reset. And after resetting form fields we want to hide this bootstrap modal so we have write dollar with bootstrap modal it add date modal dot modal method with text argument hide. This code will hide bootstrap modal. Now we have PHP code under insert.php page, so on this page we have first make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument, in first argument we have write host name set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection we have write if statement with condition like not operator empty function with one argument dollar $post, this page has been received post data and it has been stored in dollar $post array, so this function check if dollar $post A is not blank then it will execute if block of code. Under this if block of code we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank, we will store data into this output variable and we will send back this variable data to user side. After this we have write dollar name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument, in first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar post name variable. This function will clean text of dollar post name variable and store into this name variable. This way we have clean text of dollar post address variable and store into dollar address variable, dollar post gender variable and store into dollar gender variable, dollar post designation variable and store into dollar designation variable and dollar post age variable data and store into dollar age variable. This way we have cleaned the form data and store into different variable. Then after we want to insert this data into employee table, so we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into employee table with column like game, address, gender, designation and age with values get from dollar name address, gender, designation and age variable. Now we want to execute this query so, we have write of statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. If data successfully inserted then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar output variable concatenation operator equal to data inserted message store into dollar output variable. After inserting data we want to show inserted data, so we have write dollar select query variable is equal to select star from employee table order by id in descending order. This query will fetch all employee data from employee table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument, in first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar select query variable. This function will execute query and store into this result variable. Then after we want to create one table with two column like employee name and view and store into this dollar output variable, so we have write dollar output variable with dot operator equal to open table tag with one table table row and between table row we have create two table heading tag like employee name and view. After this we have write while loop with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable.
This function will convert dollar result variable data to associated array and store into this dollar row variable. Now we want to print data in HTML table so we have write dollar output variable with dot operator equal to open and close table row tag in between this tag we have create two table data tag. In first table data we have print employee name and second table data tag we have create one view button. This way we have store employee data under this dollar output variable in HTML form. Now we want to send this data to success callback function so we have write simple echo statement with dollar output variable. This all data has been sent to success function and from success function we have display this data under division tag like employee data without page refresh. Now our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that list of employee data in HTML table form. Below HTML table there is one add button so when we have click on this button then after bootstrap modal has been pop up on web page with HTML form. When we have directly click on insert button then it has been say name field is required. But when we have fill all field and click on insert button then bootstrap modal has been hide and data inserted message appear on web page with newly inserted employee data in HTML form. So our code is working. This is a modern concept of insert data through bootstrap modal by using Ajax request method and it has been send requested to PHP script and PHP script does clean data and insert into my SQL table and after inserting data successfully then after we want to show inserted on web page. In PHP script we have fetch data from my SQL table and send back data to Ajax request method in HTML form. And by using query code we have display that HTML data on web page. This all process has been done without page refresh event. By using bootstrap modal we have done all type of CRUD operation by using Ajax with jQuery and PHP. So friends this my video tutorial on how to insert data into my SQL table through bootstrap modal by using PHP code with Ajax jQuery. So if you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.